call the member for well, I call the honourable member for Holt. Speaker, um, I rise today to discuss um, and present later the Stop the Traffic petition of about 2,914 signatures on behalf of the Uniting Church of Australia, which seeks to condemn the practice of human trafficking and prevent people um, continuing to be brought and sold. Human trafficking is the acquisition of people by improper means, such as force, such as fraud or deception, with the aim of exploiting them. Now, this petition has been brought to my attention by Dr Mark Zernzak, Director of the Justice and International Mission Unit of the Uniting Church of Australia. The petition promotes the need for a consistent approach to compensation for survivors of human trafficking in Australia. This would be the fulfilment of Article 6.6 .6 of the Protocol to prevent, suppress and punish trafficking in persons, especially women and children, supplementing the United Nations Convention against transactional organisational crime, which states that each uh, state party shall ensure that its domestic legal system contains measures that offers victims of trafficking in persons the possibility of obtaining compensation for damage suffered. In order to be compliant with the international obligations Australia has accepted, it should either create a compensation scheme at the federal level for, for survivors or ensure survivors of human trafficking can receive compensation under current state systems. I think in contemplating this petition, one of the testimonies of someone that's actually on the petition is mentioned and recorded by the project research, one of the people that had been trafficked, we were made to feel like animals. Customers were violent. Some of the customers were crazy. They treated us like animals. We were sexually abused. We were drugged. We were hit. Some of us were given drugs so we could work all the time. Some of the women we know have become drug addicts and now they have to keep doing prostitution to pay for drugs. Virtually every country in the world is affected by crimes such as this. And I'd like to point out that on the 13th of August 2012, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, the Honourable uh, Senator Bob Carr, has asked the Joint Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade to inquire into and report on slavery, slavery-like conditions and people trafficking. The committee invites interested persons and organisations to make submissions addressing the terms of reference by Friday the 28th of September 2012. The trade of men, women and children through force or coercion is one of the fastest growing criminal activities in the world and, as I understand it, the committee wants to examine Australia's efforts to combat the problem. The United Nations estimates 2.5 million people worldwide are victims of this crime and 1.2 million of these are children. International efforts to tackle the problem will also be examined. Australia has not escaped this um, serious form of exploitation. Between 2004 and 2011, over 300 investigations and assessments of human trafficking and slavery offences were conducted by the Australian Federal Police. 13 convictions resulted. In the time I have left, I'm seeking to present this petition, which has been through the Petitions Committee.